Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. Today, not only are we going to be having a great time, we're going to be doing that while dropping Banelings all over our opponent's army. And our first opponent is going to be a Protoss player called Shifu over here. Now, I've done this challenge in the past and I've struggled mightily with it, may I add. I think one of the reasons was that I either started dropping too early or I started dropping too late. It's very difficult to find the correct timing for you to start spending all your resources into dropping uh, the Baneling on top of mineral lines or on top of army. So I'm, I'm going to kind of try to follow a more standard approach here, at least in the first four minutes. And then once we hit that four, four and a half minute mark is when I'm really going to start trying to get uh, well, overlords filled with Banelings and fly them into mineral lines. Now, of course, one of my main concerns is always going to be whether my opponent is going to be capable of taking out my overlords with, a, with something like a Void Ray. And in order to combat that, I decided that the best composition I could go for is actually Hydra Ling Bane. Because if there's Void Rays, I can use Hydras to snipe them. I can put Hydras and Overlords as well. So it's a little bit of everything, but the main focus definitely is going to be on getting as many Banelings on top of my opponent's army as possible. So with that out of the way, let's see what we have here. We're playing on inside and out against Shifu, like I mentioned before. I didn't actually catch what his MMR was. Um... Or what league is, I do believe he's going to be a Grandmaster. Um, but I did see that he had the ladder portrait as one of the portraits. People that have the ladder portrait, you know, in the in the loading screen usually are pretty serious about laddering. So I am a little bit afraid. <clears throat> I'm a little bit scared, but uh, that's okay. It just makes it a little bit more exciting as well. So we're going to send two links across the map. Uh, trying to go for some type of run by. I'm going to continue mining gas, actually. Not because I want to spend that quickly into Banelings, but because I kind of like the thought of having Overlord Speed here. Um, relatively quick. You know, this one's just going to go up for free, which is nice. And we're going to start spreading creep immediately as well. Uh, second queen can come out too, of course. I love my queens. And then we can send this bad boy in. Now, what this bad boy is going to do, so we see this adapt. It will allow us to figure out what's actually going on. Oh, that's very unfortunate for you. And maybe even get a little bit of a lead as well here at the start. So there's no chrono boost on this, which is unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, I almost got that, actually. Maybe I can clear this too. Didn't actually start my second, uh, my second queen in my natural, I just realized. That is fairly unfortunate for my opponent. And I also didn't get the scout what my opponent is actually doing, which is also fairly unfortunate for me. So, not the greatest start, but still a start that I can live with. All right. Um, I probably want to get a fast Evo Chamber the moment I see the third base being started. I'm just going to keep my Overlord close by. Now, now ooh, PP. And I want to probably get a couple of links out. Okay, that's nice to see. We see that there's a, an Oracle in position there. I'm ready to deny anything that I can do. Here we go with these bad boys. Oh, we actually guess my overlord. I don't mind that as much, um, to be quite honest. And the reason for that is quite simple as well. is because, well, I'm going to have to replace it at some point anyway. Like, it's not going to stay around forever. It's fairly unlikely. So, um, yeah, it might as well happen now to me. I, I don't actually care uh, all that much. So, you have these in position. We have the bad boys in the main base as well. That's definitely going to help out. I don't really care. Come on, take it out. Take it out if you want to, maybe. Take it out if you want to. We're actually going to get a kill here on this base, that's for sure. Oh, that's a beautiful kill here. Definitely going to get the stalker. Actually, I'm going to get every single unit here. Every last unit is going to go down. Unless a new uh, oracle shows up in the next four seconds. Yeah, not good enough. Just a single oracle for now. I don't think I've seen an extra one yet. I want to get a fourth base. And I probably want to get a second gas as well. We'll just get it in the main base. Um... That will allow us to more easily get Banelings out, basically. Because you need quite a bit of gas in order to get Banelings. And if you don't have that gas, it's difficult to get them out, obviously. Uh, immediately start building as many links as we can. We want to keep map control, a little bit of pressure on our opponent. Uh, all of that good jazz is just extremely important here for uh, for the game plan. Let's get a third gas as well, huh? Doesn't sound so bad. I want the layer because I need to start dropping soon. So we have been pretty much set up properly here. Okay, that dies. This dies. Oh, this is gonna die for sure. Hello. Uh, activate your pulsar. There we go. One pulsar beam got activated there. I'm always okay with that. And don't forget what I said. I want to go into uh, into uh, hydros eventually. So I'm gonna just need a lot of gas. That's a fact. Usually you don't need as much gas, but because I am going into what I'm going, I'm actually gonna need a lot of gas. 
if I was just playing pure Ling Bane and staying on a lower drone count would have been completely fine. I would have had no issue with that at all. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, these are these bad boys, huh? These are these bad boys. We're gonna move around and we're gonna start dropping like a madman right about now. Because um, that's really what it's all about, of course. Up. More links, definitely more links. I want four Bane links morphing over there. Oh, don't want that to be spotted though. You turn into a dropper lord, very nice. And we want some of these little Hydra there. Oh, he's actually putting himself in a weird position right now. Just have to admit that. There are way too many drones in this particular base, and not enough drones in this bad boy. That's also a bad position for a spore, I just realized. Come on, go in here, chief. And we can send one, two, three, four of my links over here. And we have 78 workers. This is such a beautiful number because I, I think 78 workers pretty much allows you to do whatever you want. Um, while still not being at such a high drone count that you really need to start worrying about your supply number. So okay, here comes the first drop. And I want to get a couple of hydras out just for safety's sake, not for anything else. And really just for safety's sake. And the way you always want to do it, of course, is you want to have multiple threats happening at the same time. So we're just going to pretend to move out right now. I say pretend to move out. We're just pretending to move in here with our links. And hopefully he doesn't pay attention for long enough. And then we get the drop on this. Beautiful stuff, Kevin. That was fantastic. GG, let's go immediately. A single bailing drop is all it, re it all is required over here. That was very nice. Um, not entirely what I wanted, but... This is really the power. I mean, 15 worker kills. And I also took out a battery. And only at the price of a, a small 12 links and 4 banes. I do think I was winning pretty hard, honestly. Felt very good, at least. Uh, good setup. I'm going to try this again. And our first win is in the pocket. This was against, once again, Sifu, I think. My name was called Shifu. Ooh. Not available during league placement matches. And this is someone that uh, either is playing the first matches of the season or is a leave leaguer. Or a little bit of a smurf, of course. But because we see plus 24 is about the same MMR as I am. 5100, so at the, the lower edge of the Grandmaster League current. It's going to be angry. For people familiar with my channel, and for people very familiar with my channel, they'll know that angry is my arch nemesis. Angry is a player that in the Terran versus Terran matchup, I have never beaten in my entire life. He always does the same thing and always beats me. However, if I play him with my Protoss, I'm pretty okay. I don't recall ever playing him with my Zerg, but hopefully I'm also going to be okay with that. I'm afraid that he's a mech player, and that means that whatever I'm going to be doing is just going to be quite tricky to pull off, because Banelings don't trade so well against mech units. Generally, they're okay against Hellbats, I guess, but they're not brilliant against tanks. You don't really want to drop them on top of Thors either, and sadly, Banelings don't have the technology yet where they can actually splash on top of battle cruiser so there's no there's not a single unit except for the hellion slash hellbat uh and maybe the cyclone to a certain extent uh, at which the, the baneling is capable of beating it so we're going to need to use it as a, as a supplement and uh, of course we can still drop a lot of mineral lines and i think that's going to be our main occupation here in this game and uh, it's very important against mech if you want to do something aggressive against it it's in general, just to have a tight and clean early game. And it can be quite difficult because most mech players are also, you know, they're the fans of Gumiho. And Gumiho does not play very standard build orders. Just like mech is not a standard composition, or this is not considered a standard composition. It's kind of something that's a little bit out there that these off meta players will play every now and again. Okay, this is an SCV scout, so it's most likely not going to be a. Um, what do you call it? Not a proxy rex, which is already good to know because planning drops not entirely sufficient against that type of stuff. We're gonna get a, a little bit of an overlord out, send it over here towards the where our third base is going to be as well. I think I wanna maybe send do I wanna send this over already? I don't think I do actually. I'll send one of these uh one of these drones that was mining from the main base over to my third base. We see the Reaper coming out. That is actually good information because we know it's not going to be a marine first. Ooh, is he actually going to try and, and block me here or what? I actually think he is going to try and block me. That's interesting. Please don't kill my drone. Okay, he killed my drone. What did I ask him to please not kill it? That was actually a really nice move. I wonder why that isn't done more often. I guess most of the time you don't actually get a kill on the drone, huh? It's not super common, I guess, for you to get a drone kill here. Um, 
Are these bad boys? I mean, we're gonna get it up now. That's nice. Three hatchery anyway, but a little bit delayed. Not the end of the world, of course. Not the end of the world. Just gonna get our creep tumor down. Kind of want to go for the surround. Okay. That didn't work. Next time he uh, he positioned it somewhere, I'm gonna go for the surround. I'm, I'm gonna go. I, because usually you put it somewhere and then you look away for a sec. <laughs> this is not a high level move, by the way. This is this is this is this is this is what works at lower level. Which you just wait until your opponent stops paying attention. Okay, this is this is absolutely the play. This is absolutely the play. I love this type of stuff. I think I want to scout right now. I just want to figure out what he's doing. Um, if we can't figure out what he's doing, that would be slightly unfortunate. Is that usually what your uh, um, what your thing is gonna be for, right? Your 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 overlord speed. What it should be for, at least. That was drones. That was not ideal either. I don't think I want more drones right now. Now that I think about it. Um, 30 C. Lots of cars, huh? Nothing being constructed here. I'm afraid of what's happening on my on my right side. I mean, yeah, it's, I feel like this is gonna be fusion core. I'm afraid this is just gonna be fusion core. Uh, Fusion Core Alley over here. I really am feeling that. I am feeling Fusion Core Alley in a big way. Uh oh. Where are you going, bud? Doesn't have that many Hellions though, does he? I didn't scout how many gases my man had, huh? Unfortunate. But at the same time, not the end of the world. Let's get uh, three of these drones in here. And. I'm considering what I actually want. I, I think I, I need spores at some point. That, that's for sure. I got another, another one of these bad boys over here. That's nice at least. Okay, you go in. Uh oh. Come on. Go deep, go deep, go deep. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. That's no problem. That's no problem at all. I think I can clear this if I just click it properly. No, surely. Hello? Hello! Okay, please go for the kill. Nice. Okay, these are down. More cars here. What's the chance? What's the chance? What's the chance? Pretty darn high. Pretty darn high. Definitely is mech, by the way. Okay, we got one. It's not entirely brilliant. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Should I just go for Hydras again, by the way? I, I was thinking about it. It's like, oh, Hydras, you know, they, they're not great against mech, but maybe? But also maybe not, I guess. I'm gonna start with uh, our first drop over here immediately. Oh, oh, at least we know what's kicking up in the main phase. I was, I was super ready for this, honestly. I mean, I had two freaking, uh, two, two of these dudes here. Still took a little bit more damage than I probably should have if I had just moved these units away. But definitely, like these drones, they, they don't need to be there. But they're just gonna go in, gonna get some more links. Maybe just roaches is the answer. I'm not sure. I also don't have any upgrades yet. And actually, my worker count is not that high. At least, not as high as I ideally would want to. Luckily, I do have overlord speed, so that allows me to quickly move these overlords away out of PC range so that wouldn't happen. Um, sadly, it did happen. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. Just gonna get two, uh, two of these things. We don't have the greatest creep spread, but maybe it's fine anyway. I got a couple more of these dudes as well. We have a lot of queens. <laughs> Why would I drop it right in front of him? <laughs> it's not good. It was obviously not good as well. It was a. It wasn't like a. It, it was almost good. It was obviously a very bad plan. Okay, this went awful. Holy crap, that went terrible. I did not like how that went at all. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna go invest. We're not, not in carapace. Usually you invest in carapace, but I'm gonna invest in everything but carapace here. So just melee and range upgrade. One, two, three, four. That's gonna help. Yeah, PCs are just gonna be a massive issue for me. Um, I, I think we'll need to be very honest about that already. Um, it just I, I don't really see a viable way for me to deal with that. I think I need to tech into Vipers at some point and then 
kind of hope that from there on out it, things will end up going all right. I'm just gonna send this around too. We need more. Like every single time I lose one of these overlords, I just forget that I did that. Um, and more of these. That's, that's uh, absolutely important here. Absolutely important. Oh, these go through the middle. I can also do a little bit more here. Ah. My queens need to start putting in some work then. That's, that's what needs to happen. Yeah, where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? Okay, here we go. That's a lot of cars, but not enough cars to really make me afraid of anything. Um, where is the... I think the VCs are going towards the far left corner right now. That's what it feels like, at least. Yep, there we go. No! Forgot the transceiver for a little while. Doesn't feel like things are going that bad though, are they? I have three spores in my main, what's he gonna do? Like, I don't think very much. I, I don't see it at least. We can just get one of these as well, we have spores in this area. Oh, maybe we can come from the back and drop on top of that? But maybe we can't. Like, what's he gonna do here? You're gonna go in right here. My hydras are trying to move in position. Whoop, 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 whoop. And that's one. And that would have been two. Had he uh, not been ready for it with the teleport. Okay, well, we lost some workers. Not the end of the world. We're still at 85, which is actually a really nice worker count. This bad boy should have a long while ago turn into something more useful right now it's not very useful at all okay we're gonna actually more of a couple of these and then we're gonna get more banes and hopefully just set up for a very powerful push there's so many hellions that i actually think this might end up working yeah these medevac drops are gonna be the medevac drops these uh these drops are gonna be hugely beneficial i'm gonna keep one in my main base in case in case he decides to push in but all the other ones are just gonna be here i need some more drones as well where are these bad boys at there we go Pop, 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 and maybe I should have gone for a drop initially in the main base. That definitely could have helped. Yeah, buddy. I don't think you want to fight this. So just run away. Yeah, there you go. Good job, chief. No, don't want to fight that. Oh, and now he's now he's pretty much uh, locked off from this area. He can't come home anymore. Too much elaser. <laughs> nah, mate. You never have enough elaser in your life. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was legitimately beautiful. Okay, let's see if I can get some uh, of these dropper boys still into a main base or something like that. Not seem to actually end up that well for me. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, this is actually potentially game ending. Be bad here. Uh oh, this is not entirely what I tried to sign up for. I think I have a lot of. Hydras that just died. He has Thors out as well. Oh no. I need more drops. The one drop worked out really well, but then the rest didn't at all. Um, that was unfortunate. I think it would, would be a good word to use there. I'm afraid that he's just gonna push out across the map and just afraid of win the game here. We have plus two on, on our range units, but I'm not so sure how much that is going to end up helping. Okay, we have our first Viper. Oh. Maybe we can go with this. Oh, we definitely can. Did he just absolutely destroy my, uh, my dude? I think he did. Okay, well, this will need to be done. This is important. Those die. You guys are also about to die if you're not careful. Uh, I, I need to get more banelings out somehow, some way. If I don't get the banelings out, then life's just gonna suck for me. Just trying to stay alive at this point, and honestly, that mission isn't going all that well. One could even say that that mission is going pretty darn terrible. GG well played. He hardly lost any supply, didn't he? Look at his attack. I really thought I was going to be able to win this attack after I cleared so many Hellions for free. It it, it felt like uh, 
like a brilliant trap here out of it. Look at this. He had no clue what's going on. Bah, bah, bah. I guess that last one didn't really connect. But I guess the problem was just that I didn't have enough links to fully. I think if you have a lot of links and then the Hellbats or the Hellions get put away, the links are really good. But if if you don't, if you have pure Hydras, then you're still just not going to have a good time. Lynx is the future. He had a freaking planetary at his third base as well. What am I supposed to do against this? My man is a, an expert camper. I can't beat these guys. As Angry walks away with the win and with 16 points as well. And we're going to try again. Uh, hopefully get a Protoss. I think this is... Or a Zerg player. This has high viability against Zerg and Protoss. I don't like it against Terran as much. All right, I decided something, my friend. Rather than going for the, the weird thing, which is going for... You know, a lot of bases, a lot of drones. I think I need to go weird from the start rather than go weird in the mid game all of a sudden. The entire game needs to be idiotic, I think. Like, otherwise they'll... The, the regular timing pushes are too difficult to hold if you're if you're dropping. And also if you have the macro like an absolute uh, freaking idiot like I am doing, like a, like a broom. Like a wet tea bags have uh, more interesting micro than what I've been showing in macro so far, so... I think what I'm going to be doing is I'll open up with a quick pool and maybe four to six links. Confuse my opponent a little bit with that. It's like, oh, that's really weird, all of this. That's very odd, very odd, very odd. And then my follow-up is just going to be a quick drop into the main base with Bane links. That is actually going to be the play. So, it doesn't sound super exciting. Please let me get that. Thank you so much, brother. Oh my god, that was, that was super sweet. That was super sweet. Um, don't want to build any more drones i think so yeah i'm gonna go six links here then so six links is going to be the answer if he cannon rushes me it's absolutely a free win so i'm not quite sure what he's doing with his probe but it better not be cannon rushing because i'm gonna walk all over you bro bro you're gonna be done done for son absolutely done for what's he doing stop 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 okay this harassment this is not okay huh? you know it's not okay as well it, it's not funny okay up, that's gone. Two gate? Okay. Talk about things that I don't quite understand. Okay, look at this, look at this. Okay, I, I figured it out, 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 figured it out. I'm gonna send an overlord. No, wait, I already have an overlord across the map. I just realized. I already have an overlord across the map. I don't need to get another one across the map. I already have one across the map. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Oh no, you have a zealot in the wall. How awful for me. Is what you could say, but it's not what I'm gonna say, because I don't care. Well, actually, almost lost a unit there, that would have sucked. Kind of massively, but I didn't actually end up losing it, so it's all good. Now, what I'm gonna do here is fairly simple. I'm going to build a baneling nest. I'm going to drop four banelings over here, split them up two by two, and then deal my damage. This is the plan, okay? This is actually the build. This is a two-base baneling drop all in. When is the last time you've seen something like this? Tell me about it. Never. This is a, com this is a unique build. Honestly, everything I've been doing so far today has been slightly unique, but because it's bad. This is unique and it's good. Very rare moment. And these two are going to come from the front and they're going to be the distraction. You know, it's like, oh no, I had never expected that. Boom, explode. Bang, bang. Two at the same time. That's what's going to happen here. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? Do I have an overlord on the way or what? Hello, start morphing, thank you friends. Eh, feels okay, all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. Whoop! Safe, well it didn't really need to be safe, but we saved it anyway, which is important. Okay, here we go. No spotting on the edge, no spotting on the edge. Here we go, 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 here we go. This is it. Oh, it is now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. I only get two. How did I only get two? Oh my god, that could have been so big. How did I only get two with that one? I caught him in the transfer. 
Uh, probes need to have a bigger hit radius. Is that what you call it? I think so. Bigger hit radius. Bigger radius where I walk in and I can hit him. That's the hit radius. Classic hit radius. This is what we call an issue. Please tell me I can get in there. Please tell me. Oh, one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't be in time. Don't be in time. Don't target the correct one. Thank you, good sir. Two. It's not enough, is it? I'm gonna need to throw down a Hydra then right now. Ah, this didn't entirely go how I wanted it to. But I think we did some fine damage. Hydra then, where are you, Hydra then? No, it's not working. No, go back in here. No, go back in there. Oh, you go here. You go... Hello, Hydra then? How much is a Hydra then? A hundred? Holy crap, it's an expensive structure for what it does. No offense, of course, to the Hydra list. If you're a Hydra list, then... Good for you, buddy, but... Probably want to work a little bit harder at actually dealing some damage, huh? One, two, three. Okay. That is a terrible position for a spore. Obviously, I want it over here. Okay, Hydras come out. Couple more drones. Okay, okay. I'm feeling it. Hydralisk then has finished right now. So we can start getting our Hydras. And um, what is this? Hello? Can someone give me that? What is this? This void ray. I don't want it anymore. You're you're done for, my friend. What? For a second, I thought he was very fast. So this is a regular speed of a void ray. Oh, that's interesting. And we're gonna get the the drop speed right now. One, two, three, four. Okay, you guys are gonna go in there. I'm just gonna get more and more drones. And then we're gonna go for a hydra in while dropping at the same time. So these, these, whoop, whoop, whoop. Is, is 58 enough? I think that's plenty of workers, actually. Watch me do this in the new patch as well. It's going to be even better. Higher movement speed, baby. We're all for that. We're all for that higher movement speed. Wait, what, why is there a Hydralisk here? You absolute clown. No, I don't want you there. Okay, you guys go here. You guys, the top side. Whoop. Ling Hydra. That's going to be the, the play here. No, you go here. You go here. You go here. Okay. This actually is a pretty sick build, I have to admit it. Oh, that's not going to find. We require. Should I tell him that I have a fort base on the other side? <laughs> My fort base is on the left. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Hello, Hydra. What? The AI of certain units? Colossi. Why are Colossi extremely dumb? I guess all of their skill points were put into the size of their legs and not into anything else. Holy crap. Colossi always dancing with each other, trying to get down ramps. And now Hydra's trying to bump into a queen at high high speed. Also not entirely it. Did I build more workers accidentally? I think I did. Does he not have a third base? Does he legitimately not have a third base? Oh, no, he has a third base. Okay, okay. Okay, third base is there. I can't select it. What? Okay. I almost couldn't select it from that angle. It's very difficult. But then again, life is pretty difficult. Okay, this one's going in. This one's going in. And I'm going in as well. Is he watching this? What is this try harder? Beautiful. And now comes the real beautiful thing. Oh my god, every single Baneling here is hitting. That was just great. That was fantastic. This is what we call a uh, a classic two-base Baneling all-in scenario. This happens so often when you play two-base. Honestly, 100% of the time that I play two-base Baneling all-ins, this has happened. You know, just this exact follow-up. It's crazy. A full 100%. Now, the next one is going to be a couple more of these. Then we're going to drop it on top of him. Do we need more stuff? I don't think we actually do. 
Don't I have the super rolling speed yet? No, I don't. Wait, where? Oh, I built overseers. No, come on. That's not entirely what I wanted. That's definitely not entirely what I want. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Oh. I just pressed the wrong button. I have to do that. You guys can go here. It's also a little bit more expensive, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you are out for whatever reason. What have you been up to, bud? Okay, now we can go. Hello, these go in here. Do we need some on the ground as well? I almost want to get some on the ground. I'm not sure if it's necessary. Okay. I'm just going to straight up go, go in there. I think that's the absolute play. No, yeah, we go back. We go back again, and now we go. You're still gonna. Oh, this is why you always put them in air. They can't get hit then. This is why you put them in. Disruptors can't damage me, my friend. I am perfect. And it's not too late. And I can't go back. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. I kill a lot? I think I killed enough. These are so bad against that unit. I kill a lot. I think we win this game though. That's for sure. I wonder how much damage my two base baneling all in actually did. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was poor at all. I think this is a good build. Or at least a good enough build. I just killed a bunch as well. I don't know what my actual worker kill count is. Oh, you guys have to die, I'm sorry. That's just the way of the world. Sometimes you survive, sometimes you die. And in the end, we all die. Oh, GG gets called. Well, almost gets called by extreme Nikes. Um, and that's going to be the win for today. Beautiful stuff. Uh, it's my favorite way probably to, uh, to run this one. 17 points in the pocket. actually want to take a look at that early game because I am just fairly curious what happened there. Because he was confused, right? He opens up with that 2-gate against a 16-pool, which is not necessary. Against a 16-pool, you're okay with just getting a single zealot. Sometimes you don't even have to if you wall with a pylon in the wall. You temporarily full wall it with a secondary pylon. And then you just chrono boost out on a depth. Now, against six links on a small map, that might be a little bit difficult. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, look at this. Look how fast I hit. This is the fastest, e fastest ever bailing drop. I, I absolutely believe this. I absolutely believe this. Look at this. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Poof. How many did I kill? I killed five workers. Wait, how many did he kill? He also killed a lot. He killed almost as many workers with two adepts as I did with a four bailing drop at the four minute mark. But I think I put the fear of God in his head. You see, he's just like building batteries like his life depended on it. Ten worker kills total. Like the mental edge was... If there was a, a measurement on the mental edge, it would be heavily in my favor. Because a guy that opens up with a two-base bailing drop, you can't trust him. You don't know what's going to come next, but you know it's going to be something dumb and stupid. And that is indeed what happened. Very unfortunate for my opponent. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you didn't enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Bye-bye. <laughs>